So brothers, uh, y'all have uh, been on a journey um, with this Everyday Missions Tour from uh, Atlanta to New Orleans to Houston to San Antonio to Tucson, to LA, uh, Bay Area and Portland and finally here in Seattle. And uh, uh, three, three brothers together uh, on a trip like that uh, talking about missions. Um, how do y'all, how was your experience? How was your experience? Uh, awesome, awesome experience. Really enjoyed it. Had a great time, uh, not just traveling, but the conversations that took place uh, in the RV uh, while we were on the road, uh, when we stopped at the campsites, um, just being able to travel the route that we did through the southwest, through the west, and then now in the northwestern parts of the United States. And what really caught my attention was just the vast amount of land uh, and available resources that exist here in the United States. And so as I think about missions, as I think about uh, our role in being able to uplift others and be able to allow for others to uplift themselves, um, it just allowed for me to see things in new ways. Uh, it reinvigorated some ideas, and I'm glad that uh, we all embarked on these everyday missions. And y'all also, you know, saw um, a lot of different people. So we stopped at uh, a uh, church in New Orleans where uh, they're doing kind of urban work. We stopped at a church in Houston, downtown, African-American pastor, uh, working with the homeless. Uh, we stopped in uh, Costa Mesa, uh, Los Angeles, where we were in a more affluent neighborhood and met with a group there. Um, what, what, what did you see? Um, did, you, did you sense that God was doing anything? Um, the, the, the different people that we got to talk to and those types of things, what, what, what stuck out to you in that? Well, uh, for me, I think it was uh, it was definitely uh, awesome to see, uh, based on geographical area, based on even climate, how uh, people interact and how people can come together. Uh, Rob and I were talking last night about what was probably, you know, he asked me what um, um, state or what scene uh, <clears throat> that I feel like was, you know, the, the, the high point of the, of the trip. And, and I honestly couldn't think of one uh, because there were several. But one, one thing that really just drew my attention, God really spoke to me in uh, the neighbors in this affluent area and Costa Mesa who stayed right next door to one another and hadn't met. Uh, but during this event, they were able to, uh, to start a relationship. And I think that's, you know, kind of what... Um, this book tour is about, you know, finding those small things, those small instances where God can use you to, to reach out to someone else, even if it's not, you know, this, this huge thing, but the small events uh, that really change the lives of, of many. And so uh, that, was, that was really awesome just to see how uh, in different areas of the world or in different contexts how people come together um, for the same purpose, and that's to talk about how God is moving in Mm. So, last question. So, you know the statistics around uh, African Americans uh, in missions and uh, the fact that 97% of the resources in missions goes to, uh, to Anglo leaders. Uh, and here you are, two African American leaders in missions. Um, any perspective on that you want to leave with us, knowing that? Uh, your involvement in this work only opens you up to 3%, just 3% of the resources available. Um, what have you learned or what do you have to say uh, to our audience around supporting um, folks like you and African Americans leading uh, in missions? Well, for me, it was symbolic of the everyday missions tour that, that we took. Uh, being able to see again the vast amount of resources uh, that are available here in the United States, um, the, the crops that are grown, the livestock that exists, um, the, the land itself, and knowing that uh, it is about some level of distribution, uh, it also includes our ability to work the land, to work the resources, 
and to be able to create relationships that provide for equitable exchange, mm -hmm. uh, provide for trade and relationships to be developed, uh, to be able to trade upon ideas, to be able to trade upon uh, areas of mission, uh, being able to find value in each other. And so uh, for me, one of the things that uh, I looked at on this tour, uh, having a different perspective, I was able to see uh, the commitment from Mission Year alumni. Uh, every city that we traveled to, uh, alumni just showed up and, and poured out their love to one another. They may not have seen each other uh, over the span of five plus years, uh, but there was this common bond that existed that I believe was spirit-led and spirit-moved and spirit-abled. And so I walk away encouraged that uh, it's not a matter of race, it's not a matter of class, it's not a matter of gender, but it truly is a matter of will. And that there are some good people all throughout the United States and around the world uh, that desire to do missions work, desire to do kingdom building work, and to be able to be a part of this experience, uh, again, it encourages me to go forward as an African American man. Uh, to be able to reach across race, to reach across class, to reach across culture, uh, but specifically be able to provide leadership and a voice, uh, particularly for my experiences as an African American man uh, and my relationship with God through Christianity and being able to share that perspective with others. Hopefully, I believe, uh, will allow for broader distribution uh, of the resources that we have here in the United States uh, to help those uh, who one, need assistance, but then also who have something to offer themselves and be able to provide channels and avenues for them to be able to offer it to a broader group of people. Cool. Well, thank you for being a part of Mission Year's Everyday Missions Tour. And uh, I enjoyed it. We, uh, we look forward to, uh, to connecting in the future and for what God uh, will do uh, out, of, out of this tour uh, and out of this book. Thanks so much for uh, for being a part of it. It's been a blast. Everyday missions, twenty twelve.